Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to be continuing the block breaker game application that we're making. Um, so today what we're going to do is we are going to add the user input and create a runnable class so that we can animate the uh, objects on the screen. So let's go back to our project and let's create a class and we'll call it animate. And this class is going to implement runnable. And so we have to have the function run. And we'll have a constructor that takes a block breaker panel and we'll have a block breaker in here and set that to the parameter that we have okay and so while true so that means this will run on a continuous loop we'll have the block breaker panel update And we'll create a new function for that. Okay, and then we want to sleep this thread for 10 milliseconds. And the reason why we want to do that is so that the animation isn't running too fast. Okay, and we'll create the update function in the block breaker panel. And then we need to surround the thread sleep with a try and catch. And so now we're ready to create some updates. Um, the first thing we're going to do is just repaint. And so this will update the graphics on the screen. And we want to add a line here. And this is going to be super dot paint component and then pass that G and what this is going to do is erase the screen and then uh, reprint whatever we call okay we also need to add an implement here and we're going to implement key listener and if we hover over key listener we do the import and if we hover over the class we need to add the unimplemented methods and it will add these three methods and we're going to add to the key press method okay and so here we're going to add if the key code is equal to key event dot bk, bk score left and 
and then we'll do it if it equals right. So here we're going to want to move the paddle. Okay, and so then we need to create a paddle, and that's going to be a block. And so paddle is equal to new block. And we'll put that in the middle of the screen with a width of 150 and a height of 25. And we're going to use our paddle image. And we also need to draw this, so we'll put it in the paint component method. So we paddle.draw. And the same arguments. And that'll draw it. And so now here we can actually just set. The x. So left will subtract from x. So minus equals 15. And here we'll add 2x. So plus equals 15. And then we also want to start the game. So if key code is equal to key event dot ek underscore enter, then we'll start the thread. And so the first thing we need to do is create a thread. Just name this thread. And our animate class. And so we'll set animate equals to new animate. And we'll pass it this. We'll set the thread is equal to new thread with animate. And we'll start the thread. Thread dot start. Okay. And we also need to add the listener. So add. Key listener to this and set focusable to true. Without these two lines, it won't actually read the keys. And before I launch it, I'll fix one thing here. This should be right. So I'll launch it. And so it's not moving with the left and right right now. If I hit enter, it should start. And there it goes. And so right now it's moving past the screen. We want to fix that. We'll set this here. So here we'll add an end. Paddle.x is greater than zero and paddle dot x is less than get width minus paddle dot width and that should keep us in the window Enter to start. And so in our next video, we'll create the ball and uh, make the ball bounce around and destroy some blocks.